Hey everyone, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today I'm reviewing this Cardus Audio Tone 2 Pro Digital Luello Converter and Headphone Amplifier. The housing itself is built of uh, aircraft grade aluminum and the bottom part is treated with the rubberized uh, material so it won't slip easily. Fit and finish and quality is very good, very well reflected to asking price, better than the uh, rest in the price range. That's how I would put it. I mean, overall price and functions and quality ratio that you get, and this one can play all the MQA, DSD, PCM, high res, and pretty much all the, you know, available digital format. I try many different type of music in my system with this Kev R11 or in my music den with the uh, Warf Day Evo 4.2. They both sounded great. It The sound quality is totally enjoyable, very musical, very dynamic, vivid, spacious, well-defined sound signature. That's how I will put it. It has a very good powerful headphone section. I can totally enjoy listening with all of my headphones. It can drive pretty much all the headphones that I have. Verum 1, ATH M50, Sony MDR 75 or 6 and all that. So those monitor headphones and those planar magnetic headphones sound really good. By the way, I'm keeping this one to use it in my bedroom system. So after listening to this Tone 2 Pro, Topping E30 or those kind of uh, digital analog converter is totally not worthy, you know, compared to this uh, Tone 2 Pro in terms of sound reproduction, overall functionalities and features and, you know, portability. So all that combined that they can get it done in this very small, tiny device. This one really shows the quality of music that you are playing it really shows the quality of this digital loop and lock converter feature that they provided fit and finish and functionality this is just perfect device and very good quality ratio that you can get with all the great features this one also have a, some limitation like doesn't come with the bluetooth uh, connectivity and also doesn't have the uh, optical input or remote control remote control to me is not important some people might want the uh, optical input for when they want to use it in their system or when they try to watch the TV or something, then they might want it. So that's the uh, little thing they're missing out. Other than that, I mean, I can totally find listening and enjoying music with this device because I don't use optical input in my system. So my advice is if you want to use this Tone 2 Pro as the, uh, your main digital analog converter, I will suggest you to have uh, uh, optical to coaxi converter little box or cable that they sell i will include the links in the video description so you can see it so you can use that kind of a converter so you can watch your tv or even you know enjoy uh, your game console or all that stuff so that is the yeah, a little thing that i would like to point out and another thing is the rca cables rca cables this one is designed to work with regular standard RCA cables and their own design, a Cardus Audio design, a balanced RCA cable, which I think is a very innovative. Unlike, uh, you know, mini balance uh, XLR connectors, because this one is backward compatible, which is very clever idea in my opinion. I think that should be standard in the future because I think we will be seeing more and more smaller devices and people still wants to enjoy balanced audio, you know, using their favorite headphones and stuff. So that is a very good invention for them. I would like to mention one minor glitch, which is the uh, this one doesn't work with this uh, audio quest uh, these kind of this type of uh, connectors because probably it will this connector won't reach all the way inside so when I'm using when I try to use this audio quest king cobra cable there is no sound at all uh, a few other RCA cables that I try all works fine just that are 
audio quest uh, connectors that doesn't reach inside, particularly the King Cobra or Diamondbacks connectors. And the next is operation temperature. If I play for 30, 40 minutes, it can reach to 91 degree or 90 degree on this aluminum surface and bottom portion of the rubberized area can reach to 96, 97 degree Fahrenheit. And next thing is playing different kinds of formats like DSD, high res PCM, MQA, all that. And then uh, it will show you each format and each resolution through this light. So for example, if you're playing DSD uh, 64, the little white light will turn on right around this bottom area. If you're playing DSD 512, the white light is gonna be way up here. So there is difference uh, light indicator depends on what format and what resolution you are playing, which is, I think is very clever. The format and resolution indicator light will only turns on a few seconds momentarily and it will goes away. The whole body is made of a metal and the size is three and a half by two and a half. The height is, uh, highest point in this area is a little less than inch. And on this side, as you can see it, this is the yeah, balance headphone input and regular mini 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So you can use either connections on this side. And as you can see here, all these lines and dividers and all that. So those are not, in my opinion, that is not only for design purpose. They are also, all these lines are work as the uh, heat control. So to dissipate the uh, heat that generated by this small device. So that is a very clever design. And if you look at in the back, so there is two uh, USB-C connections in the back. So this red light is on, meaning that is a power supply and data supply is connected simultaneously in one input, this USB-C input. So this input is um, coaxial input. And also this another, this uh, USB-C connections also work as the I square S connections. So if I plug in this uh, type C input uh, connectors, it will change it to power supply. So that white light meaning using dedicated power supply. All the data is gonna prioritize on this end. That will be only power supply. So that is also very clever design. This button works as the multi-function button volume control, menu control, setting, filter settings, and also indicator for what format you are playing, one knob do it all design. So if you want to turn off the power, pull it towards the front for a long press, then it will be off. If you want to turn it back on, pull it like that, that's power is on. When the power is on, that is the uh, regular volume control knob. So you can turn up all the way. So that way the light will lit up all the way. Then you will see it here. So that is the volume as at the uh, maximum. And if you hit it once, the, the music will play automatically from your computer or your devices. Then if you hit it again, then it will stop playing. So next one is double push. That is a volume mute. If you hit it again twice, it will get into gain setting. If you turn it up, high gain, this will be low gain output of headphone amplifier. Uh, if you hit it twice again, it will get you to input selection. So this is standard, that is a USB input, coaxial input. If you turn the volume control knob to clockwise, that is the uh, I square S input. And if you turn all the way, that will be, this input selection will be automatic. So meaning 
probably whatever you connect it, so it will select it, it will play through automatically. You can change it as well. For time being, I'm only using USB, so I'm gonna go back to the USB input. Now if you hit it again twice, that's the uh, filter selections. So there is a lot of filter selections. Currently this is the mini fast. Uh, if you turn it all the way down, that is the uh, linear fast. If you go clockwise, that will be linear slow. This is mini fast. So that's how it came from the factory and that's how I listen through all my music using the standard uh, filters. And if you hit it twice, it will go back to regular standard volume control knob. We can also see the uh, what format we are playing based on the light indicator. So this is 24 bit 48 kilohertz. Let's try DSD. 64 so DSD it shows a white light and next one is let's try DSD 256 so that will be the light in the different area that will be white light and let's try uh, the title MQA that is a green light that is a regular MQA and um, let's try uh, where is it title masters that is a MQA. So MQA Studio, let's try. Tidal Master Studio format, which the light will turn on as a blue light. So that's where the difference is Tidal or Regular Master and Studio Masters. If you press this three times here, so now it's locked. Even if I try to stop it, the music will not stop. Well, I have to triple press it again. Then music can stop. Design features, functions, and price wise, this makes it perfect Valentine's Day gift for audio files and music lovers. This card is Tone 2 Pro, headphone amp, and digital to analog converter is here to stay. I'm gonna keep using it in my bedroom system for my music enjoyment. In my opinion, this Tone 2 Pro is suitable to any music lover, not only limited to audio files. This headphone amplifier sound is very good. Digital to analog converter sound is dynamic, spacious, and very vivid sound signature with very good instrument separation between the notes. Human voices are very natural and very good tone to it and very good precise note and timing and timbre, everything is great. I cannot complain anything. It's just about perfect that you can have in this price point. So I can totally easily recommend it to any music lovers and in my opinion, this is the perfect Valentine's Day gift for 2021. So highly recommended, very good musical sounding digital analog converter. Thank you for watching.